Welcome uh, everybody, World uh, Osteoporosis Day. The osteoporosis basically means weak bones. Now you might say, oh, why are we talking about weak bones? And why is it an international problem? So why do, we, why do we talk about osteoporosis so much? But as orthopedic surgeons and as doctors, we see a lot of these problems with weak bones. And it is very common in countries like India, where the lifestyle of uh, the majority is not very healthy. Almost one crore people in India get affected by osteoporosis every year. And it is very common in Asians, uh, essentially due to poor lifestyle, uh, poor diet, lack of exercise, lack of uh, good nutrition, lack of diets rich in uh, calcium, vitamin D, and proteins and lack of awareness of bone health and how to keep bones healthy. So the problem starts essentially in childhood because here people stress more on studies and less on physical activity. So most of our children are always reading in small rooms. They are not allowed to exercise. Very few people uh, are actually playing like we did when we were children. Then uh, no land is available for them to play outside. They're always playing on, vid on, uh, on computers and video games or uh, they're studying. So I think it's very important that as a nation, as a responsible parent, as a responsible government, we should give opportunities for young people to play sports outside and build up their calcium stock, build up their bones. If they don't, what happens is, even young as 50, 55, people start breaking their bones with small falls, little fall here and there, they can break their bones, especially ladies. Because what happens is after menopause, the hormone levels goes down, and once the estrogen levels and hormone levels come down, the bones become rapidly weak. In men, it is not so common, but we can say that um, even men get affected by osteoporosis because we see men with hip fractures and shoulder fractures and wrist fractures in the 70s and 80s. So if we are able to build up our calcium stock in our bones at an early age, they act, the bones act as stores for calcium to be used in later life. It, and people think that if you have pain here and there, you should take rest. That is not necessarily true. The more you load your bones, the more you walk on them, the more you play on them, the more you uh, are active, the stronger the bones get. And the less chances you have to get osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is generally a silent problem, it's a silent disease. You don't know that you have osteoporosis until you break a bone. The telltale signs of osteoporosis are very clearly seen in people as they get elderly. They start to bend, start to stoop down, they lose their height. And that's because the bones are getting soft. Okay? So the whole idea of us signifying this day is to tell people of our uh, city and of the nation that please look after your bones, prevent fractures because it is a big economic burden to the society. Once you break a hip bone, then it takes a long time for people to recover. Some of these people are not fit for surgery, so the family has to look after them day in, day out. They don't realize that you know, this, that, you know, bones are as important as any other uh, part in our body like heart or liver or any other part of the body because we get very affected by heart problems but not, not many people think about musculoskeletal or bone problems. So, uh, I had, I've given some statistics in this uh, press uh, release and uh, you'll, often, you'll find that all the important facts are listed in this and what we wanted to say as, as, a, as a hospital is that we have a rich heritage of t treating uh, bone problems from for the last 40 to 50 years. Dr. Ved Prakash has always been very uh, keen on educating the public about the uh, importance of bone health. We spend a lot of time talking to patients uh, how, on how to improve their bone health. For 40 years we've been doing and trying to impress upon people that you know that they, they have to improve their lifestyle. Uh, one thing I would like to emphasize is that women especially in countries like India uh, have to go out, have to expose themselves to the sun to get as much vitamin D as possible because men are generally out and about but women tend to be indoors. 
So it's very important that, that, that parents get responsible and allow their daughters to go outside and, and expose themselves to the sun and play outside. I think as a nation we need to move forward, we need to move with times and we need to get our population healthy, to be less dependent on health service, to be less dependent on parents and to be as independent for as long as possible. So this is what I'm trying to impress upon you and hopefully you'll be able to tell this to the public uh, at large. And uh, we feel that we are a fairly responsible hospital. We are uh, always trying to be as conservative as possible. We rarely suggest surgery as the first method of treatment. But sometimes it's too late. Sometimes you have to operate on uh, certain conditions. So on this important day, we are uh, also promoting um, uh, an offer for, about a, for, for one month only where the knee replacements uh, will be uh, discounted by 30% at our hospital and uh, public can take uh, uh, advantage of this offer. Bone is very soft, so what happens is if a correct surgery is not done, then sometimes the metal can come out of the bone and can cause problems. So sometimes you have to do resurgery. So it's very important that you realize that the bone is soft and the doctor chooses the best procedure for that particular problem. So it is very important that after the surgery, the surgeon starts treating osteoporosis so that the bone becomes strong afterwards. So it is very important to educate the person and to start on correct therapy so that the slowly over the next year or two, the bones become strong. The other thing is, uh, we are in, as a nation in India, vitamin D deficiency is very, very common in young people, in, young, uh, in older people, everybody. Because many of us tend to stay indoors because there is no place to walk outside. It's very dangerous to walk on Indian roads because there are no pavements, there is no footpath, there are no playgrounds, there are no very few parks. Uh, if you have to go to a garden or park, you have to pay. This is, uh, you know, not really acceptable. I think as a nation, we need to get our government answerable to all these problems that we are facing. It's a big country, it's a rich country, but it's a very corrupt country. So we need to get out of this mindset and uh, uh, give amenities to people. We are all honest people paying. Many people are honest, they pay tax, but what happens to the tax? You know, we don't see the amenities of all the hardworking uh, hard citizens who pay honest tax. We don't see the results of paying government the, our, our tax. So not only education is important, but amenities given by the government is also important. Schools have to take responsibility. Teachers have to take responsibility. So we need to be aware of all these problems that, that come, you know, with, with modern times. All office goers, all people in IT, many doctors are vitamin D deficient. Many office people are de de deficient in vitamin D. So vitamin D deficient means poor bones, soft bones. You have to have good vitamin D in your body. So today we are holding a press conference uh, on the World Osteoporosis Day to impress upon uh, the people how important it is to uh, keep our bones strong. We as a, a hospital, Uday Omni Hospital, has a rich tradition in treating uh, bone problems and we've been educating the public for the last 40 years on how to keep their bones strong. Osteoporosis is a silent disease. It's a very common problem in women and elderly people. And because of our poor lifestyle generally, even uh, children are uh, being affected by poor bones. Um, many, I've seen many young people come with uh, fractures in their hips, in their wrists, um, and this should not continue. We, as a nation we are, and as doctors, we are responsible for educating the public and, and the government that um, a good bones means good healthy lifestyle and less dependency on the health service. So it is important that the uh, prevention of osteoporosis starts right from childhood, that parents allow their children to play as much as possible to build up their bone stock. And in elderly people and in older people, they should regularly exercise, they should keep their weight down, they should eat uh, good food, rich in calcium, and they expose themselves to the sun so that they get vitamin D. Vitamin D uh, makes uh, sure that your calcium is absorbed from your gut and the calcium is taken to the bones. If you have low vitamin D, then bones become uh, poor and soft, even if you take calcium. So it's very important that you are exposed to the sun, you go out, uh, do outdoor activities, keep your bones strong do, uh, and keep your weight down. Yeah, so the whole the idea of reaching out to the public is that we hold regular camps in various uh, parts of the city on a regular basis. You're welcome to find out more about that from the hospital or you are welcome to come and visit us. We will educate you all you have to know about, uh, about your bones. And um, as an offer also, this uh, month we are uh, reducing the cost of replacement surgery by 30%. 
So uh, rarely surgery is required for uh, osteoporosis, but if you do have uh, uh, severe osteoporosis, you can easily break your hips and uh, shoulder joints and wrist joints. So uh, if you are uh, worried about your bone health and want to know more about it, please come and see us and we can educate you on how to prevent these fractures. Mm -hmm.